welcome once again to your numero uno breakfast program in Nigeria. It's Wednesday morning, guys, and we're geared to make your week as beautiful as you hope it gets. If you know what happens what? to get her hair like that. Okay. Like, you know. Yeah. So the hairstylist it, it, just dashed off the just set, dashed just off like, the set. like we a few seconds We should bring him back before. on. <laughs> no. Just follow, just Please. <laughs> to show you know, all the follow that we've been talking about. I woke up like this, people. I wake up like this all You're the right. time. It yeah. is Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> of course, we had to dazzle you uh, from 7 a.m. till 9 a.m. And trust me, there's nowhere else you need to be yes, right indeed. now. Mm -hmm. So stick with us yes, for the indeed. next two hours. And not just sticking with us, you can carry us along with you as well as you make haste to get your day started. We're streaming live on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Exactly. And for comments, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Remember that Mike has been giving out uh, movie tickets and yes, we're going to be doing that till the end of the week. My name is Yomi Ope. And they call me Titi Lyo Oinson, a.k.a. Titi the Dynamite. How long are you <clears> going to be saying this dynamite thing? As long as I'm, I'm the one that wrote the script. Yeah. Uh, in the kitchen this Wednesday, oh, okay. we have okay. an extra special tasty treat set up for us. A brand new chef. Oh, in the yeah, building. people. Yeah. 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 Hi, good morning, guys. All right, so this is Chef Johnson. And Chef Johnson. Hello, Chef Johnson. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, trying, he's trying you know, to get in the group. You know, so, I like yeah. it when I like it when a new chef comes. Apart from the fact that they're shy and you know, yeah, chef, like they're still they're humble. They're, and they're humble. Yeah. They're also very generous. Yeah, they have a lot of food. They just give you all the food. Yeah. And so yeah, Chef Johnson, so, welcome. I've been making something really interesting this morning, so I'm pretty excited about all it. All right. Looking forward to it. Yes. Straight indeed. to this morning's highlights. Of course, music is part of what we use to serenade you every morning and that's why we've uh, invited music act at King Tunde for a performance anywhere we enter now now we are see them camera o maje koko wo ba emi o awon ye a camera o be we o ba se ori o baba mi o ya wa bura o apo mi o de ti gbe mo o da ko sasha bura now, Wednesday is for health, and in our health segment this morning, we have Dr. Boyo in the studio, and he'll be giving us tips on some home remedies for treating fever. Yes, indeed. You should go to the hospital for that, but mm. yeah. <laughs> well, so there are some wannabe farmers out there. Now, there's a DIY session coming your way very, very soon. We're going to be planting cucumbers today. Hmm. And on the relationship segment, uh, we will be uh, discussing family vision with Zuriel Oloe. Do you have a vision for your family? It's I do a have a question. vision for you my do? family, yeah. Wow, okay, I'm gonna find out more about that later. MM is gonna be on standby very soon with her life hacks. It's all about uh, Ankara throw pillows today. They are becoming quite a trend. <laughs> and social media sensation Etienosa known we're always wanting people, uh, especially uh, the ladies, who will be <laughs> joining us today on the show. <laughs> Have a feeling she's going to be cracking <laughs> us up. Yeah, eventually. To it. Yeah, so it seems like it's going to be a packed day. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, for um, those that haven't heard, uh, the the wake keep for Tusin Bokno is happening this evening. Uh, most of the media industry are already geared up to support the family and friends yeah. uh, of Tusin Bokno later on this evening. It's really sad about her passing, mm -hmm. but then again, she has made such a mark. Yeah, and, voice uh, of Lagos. Yeah. yeah, she was one of the first people we hosted, Meets Media. <coughs> yeah, mm -hmm. okay. When we started off, um, so she was one of the first OEPs mm -hmm. we actually hosted, and she was such a... She was such a good sport. Mm. I mean, her energy is so infectious. I mean, it's it's really sad, but we are going to miss her. Yeah. 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 So just her. great things. Everybody's saying wonderful yeah. things. And yeah. of course, uh, right on point. And uh, it's going up into tomorrow. It started yesterday, today, mm. tomorrow, yes. and all of that. So yeah, yeah the, the family, you know, at, at times, I normally say that it's the people that are left that really feel the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The one who's gone. Mm. doesn't really feel the pain or doesn't feel the pain at all but it's oh. those that are left and uh, uh, the one, yeah the so one, the whole the, yeah. the, the usually the one who's gone everyone who's uh, <laughs> who said that they've had a vision or yeah. someone who has gone or yeah. you know usually what you get is uh, i'm resting yeah so don't worry about me yeah. don't cry for me yeah. Yeah. Like yeah so usually that's what you get but uh, all in all, there there's still smiles all around because you know she, she lived a fantastic life. Yeah, yeah I so. think I think I think that's what everyone should aim for—a legacy, something that 
You know, so, so I, I, it was a, someone put up a joke about it. I was like, what would you want to be remembered for? I was like, I don't care, I'll be gone. <laughs> 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 wow, like, wow. You, yeah, yeah, you don't care, but you see, everybody everybody would want to be remembered for something. I mean, looking mm -hmm. back, you'd mm -hmm. want to be, I mean, if it's a social course, a religious course or something, there are names that through time, they've, they, they've always stayed yeah. mm -hmm. all through. Yeah. Yeah. All that. So, so live, live, for, something, live for something or at least Live for something, for something, exactly. So this live is 2018. Something. 2019 plans for 2019 should start now you should start writing out things you're going to do to make a difference right now so Easier that you done. start no as <laughs> i said write it down I said write it down at least oh, have something right, on paper. Have a plan. We're talking about writing okay, okay. Go ahead. We're yeah. talking about writing down <laughs> where you have this little notes mm -hmm. you know all over the place yeah. and then one of those days where you you actually just want to maybe declutter your closet or yeah. something and then you find them randomly like yeah. everywhere and then you now go through them you're like uh-uh actually made this plan so yeah. yeah you did this <laughs> and then you take another note uh-uh wow i see i see i made this plans and then you just read all of them out and then you find out that maybe you haven't really done much exactly exactly so it's it's uh, it's i think you put down all these plans yeah. and all these great things and then life happens especially yeah. when you live in a place like lagos mm -hmm. it's just always tough to keep up yes, and that's why you have we have our monday motivation to help you yes, always yeah. put yeah. things yeah. in yeah. perspective we'll talk about lagos traffic these days And James, Woo! come on. Now we're going for our workout this morning, so let's just let's just start by stretching out, All and right. then we're going to the aerobics. Come on, James, are you ready? Let's go. Come on, let's go, man. Let's go. Come on, take it off this way. One, that's it. Two, that's three now. Four, five, six, seven. That's eight, nine, and take it to the side. Come on, stretch it out. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Look straight on you, come on, let's go. That's three, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and take it up. Come on, let's come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and take it forward. This way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your hands are on the waist now. Legs together. Let's get and go down this way, come on. Now go up this way, come on. One, that's it, two, three now. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's walk on the lower extremities now. Let's just go down this open your legs wide and go down gradually. Come on, go this way. That's it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And face to the side. Come on this way. One. That's two. Three now. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And go to the other side. Stretch it out to the other side this way. And go down. That's it. Good. Three now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you turn it out this way. Come on, let's go. Hands on the waist. One, two, three now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, kick out your legs this way. Come on, kick out your legs, kick out your legs, kick out your legs. Let's go this way. That's it. Go, two, that's it. Three now, let's go to the main workout. Aerobics, let's go now. One, two, three now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And take it up this way. Come on. One, that's it. Two, come on. Three now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And take it up. Come on. That's it. Two, three now. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, go. nine, Woo. and elbow press this way. Come on, up. That's it. Come on, go. Three, come on, four, five, six now, seven, eight, nine, and point to the side. Point to the side. James, let's go. Come on. That's it. Come on, go. Two. Three now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then take it out this way. Come on, that's it. Touch it up. Touch it up. Touch it up. Go. Two, three now, four, five, six, 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Now go this way. Go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Give me one, three, now four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right, go this way now. Come on, let's go this way. Now, we're warming down. We're warming down. Let's go down, go down. And let's go straight back to the kitchen. Good one, everybody. All right, thank you very much for that exercise routine. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Johnson. Hello, Chef Johnson. Hi, good I'm psyching Mr. Johnson so that he can be in the same spirits with me because we love food, yeah, in On Wake Up Nigeria. Okay, so this morning we're making something very, very exciting, and it is called Mac and Cheese Vera. Primavera. Primavera, sorry. Primavera, yeah. I, I'm, that's the first time I'm actually hearing that word, Primavera. And um, Chef Johnson uh, mentioned really? earlier. Yeah, it is actually the first, the first time. time. Yes. Yeah, you know, you people are the culinary people, so we are just ordinary people. We just eat food. <laughs> All right, so tell us uh, what your, the ingredients you're working with this morning. Okay, um, this morning I'm going to be making uh, macaroni primavera. Mm -hmm. All right, um, yeah, I've got my tomato paste. I've got my whipping cream. Okay. Yeah, I've got my red uh, beans. beans. You can also call it um, kidney beans. Kidney beans, yeah. I've got my green peas, I've got my sweet corn, I've got my Onions. chopped garlic. This is cheddar cheese, grated cheddar cheese, but you can also use some other cheese. Like mozzarella. Like mozzarella, yeah. parmesan. Parmesan, okay. This is, uh, this is an onion wedge. Why well, I'm going to be using onion wedge, it's because um, it's all about vegetable with okay. bean, okay. so I would want it to be Obvious that there are onions Vegetables in, in it. it. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, I've got my spices. Spices. I have the likes of Your thyme. thyme. I have the likes of paprika, turmeric, um, black pepper, oregano, and um, grounded um, ginger powder. All right. Great stuff. So let's get to it. So just in case you're wondering what primavera is actually, they are actually called vegetables. So you know, just yeah. go ahead and do your thing. So what are, what are we starting with? We're going to start uh, by boiling the macaroni. Okay. Okay. So we're going to heat, a, heat yeah, the water first? We're going to eat it in a salted water. Okay. We're going to boil it in a salted water. Okay. So are so we I'm heating gonna, the water first? Yeah, we'll eat, we're going to eat it first. Okay. So when that, while that is boiling up, do we need to start frying? While that is boiling, I will okay. commence with my... Um, frying and others for the sauce that would go with it. Okay, great. Yeah. So let's get to it then. All right, thank you. All right. So it's the first time we're actually making mac and cheese on Wake Up Nigeria. And I'm so excited because I love cheese. Yes. <laughs> and I love macaroni. And uh, we're pretty excited about, you know, today's menu. And Chef Johnson is going to be taking us through that. Well, he's actually trying to sort out, you know, the macaroni, you know, back kitchen stage <laughs> and um so while our water is heating up we'll go on a quick commercial break there's more on wake up nigeria people stay with us welcome back now of course we know wednesdays are for health and oftentimes when we are faced with uh, a high body temperature that would normally throw us off uh, balance most people do not know what to do uh, before setting out for a medical intervention in the hospital. Now, today we're going to be discussing first aid um, and home remedies for fever. And joining us is Dr. Omadeli Boya, uh, medical director at Pinecrest Specialist Hospital, who specializes in general medical practice. And of course, uh, we're going to be looking at practical ways in dealing with fever. So uh, sometimes it can happen in the middle of the night. And exactly. while you're getting ready to go to the hospital yes. and all that. Uh, so you're just going to show us um, just what to do. Yeah, really. what, what to do what and to where do, to yeah. start. But maybe I will start by saying that fever is when your body temperature rises above 38 degrees. The normal body temperature is 37. But the truth is, you don't have any time that you always have the same body temperature. Mm -hmm. So the body temperature varies from 
35, 36, 37. We don't want your body temperature to go above 37.5. Mm. So, but how do you know you have a fever? Most people tend to touch themselves and say, oh, my body's hot, yes. oh, my baby's body's hot. Mm -hmm. But the key thing here is that if you're going to confirm or you're going to ascertain whether you have a fever or not, you must make use of a thermometer. Mm. So a thermometer is the measuring instrument to determine whether you have a fever or not. I have a thermometer here with me okay. and then um, because we need to know how to use a thermometer. I've always wondered because yes. sometimes people put it under your arm, oh, some other yes. times they oh, put yes. it you know, in different now locations. Now this is what is known as the clinical thermometer. It's used to measure the temperature of the body. Mm. Inside this is a mercury. It rises with temperature. So this is the clinical thermometer. Yeah, so this is the yeah. one that and, you probably it's encounter. Cheap. Yeah. It's cheap, 200 naira, I mean some places 100 naira will get you a clinical thermometer. Okay. So it's good for every home to have a thermometer. So you don't just say, oh my, body, my baby's body is high, oh my body temperature is high. Mm -hmm. The doctor will likely ask you, what was the temperature or what is the temperature? And you can only confirm that with a clinical thermometer. But so very important, don't very work important. on assumptions. Yes, don't work on Try assumptions. But these days, especially after the Ebola um, in, um, story in Nigeria, yeah. we went for what is known as the infrared thermometer. thermometer. Right. Now, people call this a gun thermometer because it looks like a gun. You pointed at somebody. You pointed at somebody yeah. as in freeze, you know? <laughs> so, so we now have the infrared thermometer. So we have two types now. The clinical thermometer that uses which the mercury. Obviously which cheaper. On my left hand, yeah. which is obviously cheaper. They're just like 4,000, 500, 5,000 naira, depending on the make. So this is the gun, they call it a gun thermometer, but the real name is the infrared because right. it uses an infrared um, device to measure and the temperature. Obviously, it's also shorter. A, a yes. shorter time yeah. span. Yeah, for, shorter for time span. Yeah. And then you have a minimal contact with the person because um, with this, you have to put, as a person to open his mouth, you can use the clinical thermometer orally, that's through the mouth, mm -hmm. as in, ah. So I brought, I brought a demo here. Yes. Now, if it's, if it's the, if it's a mouth you want to use, you first make sure that the thermometer has gone down mm. because um, sometimes you may have used it for somebody else. So you do this to it so that the mercury goes down yeah, yeah. and then you place it under the tongue. If it's a child, you can't get under the tongue, you can place it in the mouth. Don't go too far, just put it like that and yeah. tell the chap to close his mouth. For how long? Oh no, you can put it up for like, if it's, the, if it's the mouth, the oral one, you can just wait for like um, a minute mm. and bring it out. Then you now check the temperature. In Nigeria, we use the Celsius, the yes. centigrade. We don't use the Fahrenheit. So most of the thermometers in this country are labeled after the centigrade. And there are many thermometers that have both the centigrade and the Fahrenheit. You know, in Fahrenheit, 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit is normal. But that was since 1973, we've been using the centigrade. Centigrade. Yeah, yes. so we use the centigrade, which is 37 degrees. Because and I said earlier, the normal human temperature doesn't have a fixed point. It can vary. Your temperature can be 36 to 37.5. Mm. It's still okay. But you should not be above 37.5. You should not be above 37.5. When it's above 37.5, we say you have a low-grade temperature. When it's above 38 degrees, we say you have a fever. Mm. Okay, so 38 and above could be said to be a fever. But 37.8, 37.9 is also low grade. Mm -hmm. Now the key thing about fever is knowing what caused it because the fever is a symptom. Right. The fever in itself is not a disease. So when you have a raised body temperature, you should be very interested in what is causing this thing. Mm -hmm. Not just, oh my body is, and most people will tell you, doctor, I just, my body is hot. Have you tested it? Mm -hmm. That's why we have the, Thermometer the thermometer to so do that. That's the way to start that's from. That's where to start from. And then the next thing. Uh, so, like, so like yeah. I said, you have the oral, you can test here. Yeah. You can put under the armpit, and in the child, you can put right into the bum. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you don't do, you don't use the one for the bum, and next time you put it in the mouth. Yeah. So you just know what to do. And some people use the, the, the ear. So these are the four places, the, the, the mouth, the ear, the armpits, and in children, the bum. Yeah. So we do that. And then the infrared, you, you just point, point it, it to the person. at the forehead, Basically, the forehead, because infrared could be dangerous if you go into the eye. So you point at the forehead with a distance of like maybe six inches or four inches, and then you wait for some time and watch it to read. Mm. Then you get a temperature. Right. So now, after you've ascertained that the child or the adult 
has a risk temperature, which is above 37.5, mm -hmm. then you ask yourself, what do we do next? That's exactly. the key thing. The first thing to do is to tell yourself, you're not a doctor, you're just doing a first aid, you're doing a home remedy. So you remove the clothing of the child or the adult because most people tend to think when you have a raised temperature, you have a fever, in fact, not you think, you feel more comfortable covering yourself up. Exactly, because <laughs> yeah, because your you, you body temperature could, you, is down. You, you could be, um, you could feel uh, feverish. Yes, at some yes, point. Yeah. Yes, but feeling feverish, the tendency is to want to cover yourself up. Now, when you cover yourself up, you are preventing your temperature from going down. Hmm. In the, in the village, even people go near the fire, fireplace, sit near the fireplace, and they want to feel better. Now, that is deceitful. You are feeling better, but you are worsening your situation. So the first thing to do is to remove your clothing, and that can be very uncomfortable mm -hmm. because your temperature is up. When you remove your clothing, the chill comes, and you begin to so, feel so, cold yeah, and exactly. to you know, begin to shake. And so but the key thing here is expose the child, expose right. the person. That doesn't mean we should totally exposed, you could wear light clothing, you could have a singlet on, you could put on the fan as well. And then you want to do what doctors call the tepid sponging. Tepid means um, neither not hot nor cold. Okay. We talk about room temperature, water. We're not talking about ice water, let's call it in Lagos. When something is ice, it's blocked. I don't know why we still say ice water. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need to use cool, we don't use cool water. Just you get a normal tap water, and then you take a towel, you place it in the tap water, you wait for some time, it gets wet, thoroughly wet, you squeeze off the water, not too much of it, then you take the towel and you want to put it on the forehead of the person, you so know, bring yeah, down the to bring down the temperature. Yeah. At times you put it on the chest and you do that, you press down, not a massage, mm -hmm. but you're just putting the towel around the body so that the temperature can come down. down. At this time, the air conditioner is on, the fan is blowing, and then you are doing this to bring down the temperature. Down the temperature. Yeah. But we're, remember, we're going to have to round off okay. uh, at this point. Okay. Um, but all right. Okay. So let's um, okay. Let's go. Let's go on now. Now yeah. the. So we ensure that you put it on the forehead yes, and then also on the chest. Yes, just bring down the temperature. And then you could also, as well, make sure the person takes a lot of fluids because when you have a fever, you lose a lot of water called dehydration. Right. So you want to make sure the person takes a lot of fluids. You want to make sure if it's a child, you keep him active and be sure that he's talking and making eye contact with you. Mm. And then if there are seizures, convulsions, you rush to the hospital. Right. You don't keep somebody with fever in the house. Then you look at other other associated things like mm -hmm. is he vomiting is he having a cough or whatever is going on is he having rashes you things. monitor all those yeah. things and if possible take notes mm -hmm. so when you get to the hospital you can say my baby was running a temperature of 38.2 or 39 degrees and that it's also vomiting and, or throwing up and refuse to eat yeah. these other associated factors help the doctors make a diagnosis so it's very important to ensure that number one you take a temperature and then number two, ensure that you try to control the temperature right, by, by then if you have, taking the, yeah, if you ensure have, that you, you're wearing light clothing yes. or take the shirt off yeah. and then put, yeah. um, some people do, do a shower, like oh, take yeah, a child and good. put Oh yeah, shower. you can go to put, well, open the shower on the child and yeah. allow the child, although the child will scream because it's yes. different in temperature, <laughs> we made the child to scream. But beyond that also, you should have some, um, some tablets at home. Mm. You have um, syrups or, well, I won't call the brand name, so we call the generic names, paracetamol or aspirin. We don't give aspirin to children like below the age of six months mm. with adults can take it but aspirin has this problem with having tummy pain mm. so we give the child or the adult two tablets of paracetamol pending when you get to the hospital but the key mm. thing with fever is that the fever itself is not a disease the it's fever a is a symptom wow. is the reason that you're going to go to the hospital for because once you take care of the cause of the fever you can take care of the fever permanently wow dr boy thank you so much for all right uh, exposing us my to this. Pleasure, so make sure that you get a thermometer. It's very cheap, just yeah. about 100 or 200 yeah, naira yeah, to yes. get the, uh, yeah, clinical, uh, the thermometer. clinical thermometer. Yeah. And of course, the other one is more yeah. expensive. Yes, but yeah. have one in your house at least so that you can check the temperature and know the exact temperature. Agreed. And then keep that fever down yes. by, uh, by removing the things. clothes, putting on the fan, and making sure the atmosphere around the person is not hot. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Dr. Right, great, great to be with you. All right. We are going on a break now. There's still so much more on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Now we're in the garden. And for those of you who might have a green thumb, we're back again with our farmer. Her name is Shion Adetosui. And she's here to teach us a thing or two 
about planting cucumbers. Welcome back. It's thank been you. a while. Yeah, thank you, Titi. Okay, so please show us what we have here. What do we have? Okay. I have the cucumber here. Okay. You know, we always start off with the nursery. Okay. We don't plant directly into the soil. Okay. And so I have this planted about three weeks now, three okay. to two weeks. But I would always advise when you're starting off with your cucumber or nursery, mm. you should label and also put a date. Okay. It's always, always um, important. I want to start from the beginning. What did you use here for those who are watching us for the first time? Okay. I have my loamy soil in here. Okay. You know, loamy soil that well-drained soil mm. so when i put my water there won't be water retention okay. also remember i would always say pierce your containers okay. for excess water to be able to drain out of the container right. so that's just all i have in here so i have loamy soil i have a plastic cup that has been pierced, pierced for, yes so that there's no water retained in the soil yes. right and then i have my cucumber seeds okay, so what's different about these seeds Oh, these are matured seeds. They look like um, exactly what you have inside cucumbers, mm. but you can't use that. They are not matured. Okay. But these are matured seeds. I actually bought the seeds. Okay. So I didn't get them out of the cucumber we eat, the regular cucumber we eat at all. But I, I guess, you know, this doesn't look very expensive. No, buy. it doesn't. It mm. doesn't. I mean, go to any open market, you'll get it. There. Really? Yes. You okay. should be able to get it. There. All right. So this you said you planted three weeks ago. About three weeks ago, yes. So what is our complete tenure for the cucumber? Now for um, the nursery, after four weeks I will transplant and usually from between 45 and 60 days I should have a yield. It should start producing fruits for me. 60 days. So that's, 45 to 60 days. That's about two months. Yes, basically. that's about two months. All right. So you did mention you were going to show us uh, what we All used right. to now, transplant. All right. Now we'll transplant once after my fourth week i will transplant in here into a bigger container and why why do i need the bigger container because i can't leave it here it won't yield anything this is a nursery mm. so i'm going to transplant in here so that it will be able to produce fruits at the end of the day okay. and then i will also stick it's a crawly plant okay. Okay. so i'm going to stick this okay so when you mean stick you're going to get a long stick and put it into, into, the, soil. into the soil in the pots so you said you were going to show us how to plant. Okay, now we're planting our cucumber right away. And because the seeds are, I don't know if the camera can see this. Yes, it should be. All right. So because the seeds are tiny, mm -hmm. so I'll just need you to do it just a little hole with your... My finger? Finger, yeah. Okay, my little and finger. And then your little finger and then okay. we put it in there. Just one seed? Yes, just one seed. Now I'm going to plant about two or three. Okay. Because everything might not uh, germinate at the end yeah. of the day. So okay. I have the second one in here, okay. and then I'll do the third as well. So you're separating each and every seed? Yes, please. Is there a reason for that? There is no reason, but mm -hmm. I have three in there. Okay, okay. you're doing one the more. fourth one. one. more. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, so we're doing the, we've done the fourth one, okay. and everything might not germinate at the same time. So out of the four that we planted, mm -hmm. maybe I can have two or three. All right, so now that you've planted it today, we, you know, put something on it. I'm going to label it. it you know, have cucumber. my date, cucumber, yes. And, and then date. put in a um, in a not too dark area. So we oh. need to wait, yes. A not too dark area. area yes. So you don't put it in a sunny no, place? No, don't put it in a sunny place. When oh. you're starting off with the nursery, oh, wow. you don't need to put it off in a sunny place. Okay. So that's quite a lot of water. It's not much because okay. I need the water to penetrate into the soil very well. All right. And that's why I have the holes in at the in bottom the of the cup. And then right. the excess water will drain out. So put it in a place that's not too sunny for how long? For so four weeks. So even if it's not sunny, the leaves will still grow? Yes, that's what wow. I've done with this. I always felt, you know, sunlight was very, very key. Yes, so it is. But because you're starting off with the nursery, you don't need too much sun. Okay, fantastic. At the nistal stage. All right then. Uh, what about attacks by, you know, um, Now this is pests. attacked. It's been attacked? Yes, it's been attacked. Oh, no. By yes, what? This what has been attacked. This? They call it some kind of mildew. Oh, so I'm just okay. going to use garlic and um, garlic and um, ginger, garlic blend together, sieve the water, I spray on it early in the morning or late at night. And it will chase it. And away. it will chase it away. That's all. Garlic, ginger, sieve the water. Blend out. together, sieve the water out, and spray on it. That's all. All right. Sounds amazing. Thank you so much for showing this to us one more time. It's really interesting what we can put together when we put our minds to it hopefully you're starting your own mini garden right now but we have to head into the kitchen mm and our brand new chef johnson 
are on standby. All right, great stuff happening here. Wake up, Nigeria. Just so you know, cucumbers are very healthy and they have amazing benefits. So go and plant a cucumber today. So yeah, we are in the kitchen with Chef Johnson, and we are making mac and cheese primavera. I didn't miss that yet. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients quickly, and then we'll just get right into where we at. Okay, so far um, I've sorted my tomato paste. Okay, let's go to the ingredients first of all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want me to help you? Uh, no, no, I'm going to do that. Okay. Of course, it's my profession. Okay, great. great. <laughs> like I said earlier, I've got uh, green beans, which I said you can also call red kidney. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, red beans. Red beans, which kidney you can also beans. call yeah. ki kidney beans. Mm. We've got uh, green peas. We've got sweet, sweet corn. corn. Cheese. We've got um, cheddar cheese. We've got some salt. We've got whipping cream. And we have all the spices, all the spices basically. Yeah. So let's just get right into the cooking. All right, and then we have our macaroni over there, which is um, parboiled already. Parboiled, Great. yeah, parboiled right, already. So, what's next? Our tomato paste is ready to go. What are we putting in next? Okay, I'm gonna be adding in my cheese. Okay. You need any help with that? Uh, don't worry. I'm your sous chef for today, so whatever you need me to do, you tell me. Okay. So after that, what's next? I'm going to be adding in other spices. Okay, so we have oregano here, we have papaya, um, paprika. Paprika. Yes, we have our seasonings, we have um, our chili pepper. Chili pepper, black we pepper. We have our black pepper. We have ginger, granite ginger, yeah? Granite ginger, yeah. All right. You didn't talk about this, turmeric. Oh yeah, turmeric. Oh. Yeah, we also have turmeric here. But basically, it's just season to taste. Yeah. You yeah. mustn't always. Must you all have all of these spices? Oh, most of the uh, spices are optional, and oh, some okay. are not actually optional. So, is that cheese going to melt? It's definitely going to melt. Okay. Definitely. So, are we going to wait for it to melt before putting the ingredients? No. Putting the seasonings. No. Okay. All right. So, they're in. Um, it's time. the time. Okay. And turmeric. The turmeric. Turmeric is very cheap. It's very affordable. Very affordable. Then the paprika. Mm. I don't know if paprika do because I think it's paprika, but I'm sure you can find it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the black pepper. Okay. And then. Uh, and then the grounded ginger. ginger, yeah. Mm. And then you can use fresh ginger if you like. You can, you can. Okay. All right, good stuff. <laughs> So when that is ready, what goes in next? Seasoning. Okay. To taste. Mm -hmm. And so just in case you're just joining us and you're wondering what Primavera is, it's actually vegetables. So the vegetables we're making use of Oops. this morning, we have our kidney beans, sweet corn, and green peas, as you can see over here. Yeah. And like um, Chef Johnson said earlier on, that's the last um, ingredients going into our meal for today yeah, yes yeah okay see i've been listening paying attention and then we have our whipped cream yes so you could use evaporated milk if you like uh, you can. is that an option uh, you can okay yeah you can good all right oh this is great i'm so looking forward to this like really looking forward to this and then um, th can you also add coconut milk can coconut milk Co replace coconut the milk? milk? Well, you can if you want to, okay. but I don't think it's really advisable. advisable yeah, right. I don't think it's really advisable. I think um, whipping cream is best for it. Okay. Okay. Whipping cream is best for it. Okay. So we're going to leave that to cook for how long? Just about one to two minutes. Okay. So what we are looking for here is a thick consistency or just plain? The consistency is already good. Okay. All right. Okay. Just I just want those things that I added, those spices mm, to cook. To cook, oh, cook. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Um, I should try this this weekend, people. What do you think? So you try it and let us know and tag us at TVC Connect on our Insta on our Instagram page and uh, let us know. So you tried mac and cheese, you know. Took us through the process, you know. What spices did you use, you know? Give us some razzmatazz on our Instagram page. <laughs> Let's know that you've been paying attention, you know, to our kitchen, to meals, you know, coming from the kitchen, basically. So I think I'll need water. Okay. Yeah, water. How much water do you need? 
That's very little. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a bowl and try to get water from here. Okay. Sorry? So right now, the water isn't running? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you already have water there? Yeah. Oh, okay, great stuff. So at this point, I'm going to toss in my... Okay. So we're just going to let this cook for a while. So it's ready for... Yeah, it's fine this way. Okay. So I'm going to toss in my macaroni. Okay. So once we, once we toss that in, we're just going to allow it cook for how long? It's not going to take a longer while, probably about two to three minutes. Okay. Because the macaroni is already... It's cooked already. Yeah, it's cooked already. Okay. It's fine already. Okay. So this recipe is actually very easy to make. I mean, I, when I heard, you know, mac and cheese, I actually was expecting some sort of serenade, but apparently it's very easy to make with the right condiments, right? Yes. Great stuff. All right, so we're just going to let all of that cook, and then our mac and cheese is ready. There's so much people on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. The second half starts right in a beat. It's great to know you're still right there, tuned to us. Yes, indeed. What will you do with 50 million naira, Betty? Mm -hmm. What will you do? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Just 50 million. Yeah. Tell us. Bring the money first. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Nigerian thing, huh? Yeah. We're streaming live right now on TVContinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. For comments, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we are everywhere, literally everywhere. Just search for us and we're right there. Now, we have so much more in store on today's show. Yes, indeed. Family vision. Mm. Family vision. Very important. Does your family have a vision? Really, really important. And that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about today on the relationships uh, segment on the show. Stick around for indeed. that. Indeed. It'll be happening in a bit. And there's still more. Music is a huge part of what we do. And we'll be serenading you this morning. We have Akin Tunde performing very, very soon. Uh, celebrity guest at Tiosa uh, has some warning for you people, so stick around for maximum fun and wake up in Lagos yesterday was my birthday no happy birthday shall lapse <laughs> all right looking wow. forward to lots of fun <laughs> look I, I just have to say that instagram is one of the best things that has happened to budding talents wow. in nigeria mm. because Every single day, like almost every single day, a new talent is discovered. Yeah. And you're just putting yourself out there by yourself, mm. you know, not needing any platform, not needing any TV station True. or yeah. radio or anything like that. And it takes, it takes consistency. Yeah. So and persistence. Yeah. And you also have to be voracious too because the industry is so big. <laughs> So but then it's again, not. it's also yeah. given it's given a voice to the voiceless. <laughs> this, this language I'm going to say Instagram. a voice to the voiceless now. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying a voice to the voiceless yeah. is because of the fact that we have an election coming. So yes, we laugh, we make fun of things that people say, but are we using these tools the right way? Are we going to use it to do something positive? <laughs> or are we just going to keep laughing about stuff? <laughs> it's just it's just something that's been on my mind. But so I, I just I mean, those three big <laughs> words just for it's a small Instagram. I put you speech into every side. You have to be voracious. <laughs> Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria and it's time for our relationship discussion. Now, when we're growing up, uh, we're often told to have some kind of plan for our career, 
or even a plan or vision for our business. But are we ever told to have a vision for our family or where our relationship is going? And of course, if you don't plan, of, oftentimes you fail. We have family life practitioner Zuriel Oloe in the studio. One more time, welcome back. Good morning. It's nice to be back again. Okay, so a family vision. It feels like a, a, a brand new concept, something that, you know, someone just coined in a book and everybody's just jumping on. Uh, but let's break it down. What exactly does it mean to have a vision for your family? Like, um, basically, where, where there's no vision, there's no purpose. Okay. Um, so your family v vision represents your family purposes, it represents your goals, mm. and it represents your family standard. Okay. So where you do not have all this in place, it means you would run your family on daily basis as the day rolls by. Okay. So it means that uh, year in, year out, week in, week out, and day in, day out, mm -hmm. your family is more or less on a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And when there are issues in the home, there is basically no template for you to work with. Mm -hmm. So it also means that you would have domestic terrorists who would come into your home, destroy the peace of your home, mm. your children would have no template to work with okay. because as a parent, there is no purpose for them mm. to work with in the home. So when tomorrow your children turn out to be something you did not plan for, or uh, after two years of marriage or after 10 years of marriage, your marriage is going down the slide, mm. definitely it means that you worked on how would I put it? You worked on the sky. Mm. You didn't have any You didn't any have a solid... plan. You didn't have a concrete plan for your family. Okay. I, I like the way we've, we've, we've brought in outside factors in a subtle way. So in other words, if you are on a fast track in a particular direction, nobody can sway you off mm -hmm. that path, uh, be it in-laws, you know, friends, or whatever that come into the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, but then... Uh, are there certain standards of vision we're talking about? Is there a template for creating a family vision that we should know about? Okay, or is it something that's unique? Okay, so uh, it's basically unique to each family. So what you represent as a couple, what you represent as a family, what you represent uh, as an individual. So you understand that you have two people coming from two different backgrounds, coming to form a new nation. Um, that's what we normally say. Sometimes you have people who come from a first world uh, background, okay. marrying, into, uh, marrying someone who's coming from a third world background, and where, you, where they both come together. Love is a very funny thing. Mm. So before the marriage, everybody's in love, there is fun fair everywhere. After marriage, what next? Mm. So where you do not have a plan, understanding that both of you are coming from two different backgrounds, you need to form your own nation, you need to form your own empire, okay. then you find out that you both work in different directions where there will be chaos. So what your family vision does to you, it brings both of you into alignment to your purpose. Okay. It brings both of you into alignment to your goals. It brings both of you into alignment to the kind of standard you want in your home. I'm talking about standards you want to your home what are the things you want to see in your home what are the things you do not want your children to watch okay. some certain family would not want their children watch some certain TV uh, stations yes, because they need to protect the sanity and sanctity of their children and some family um, homes would not for their goals one of their goals is that every morning their children wake up they have the family altar so for some people, it's not an issue. So what's your goals? What's the purpose for you as the man of the house? What's the mm. purpose for you as a woman of the house? What's the purpose for your children? I, I, I want to go towards the, the issue of who actually makes this vision known. Because okay. I, I see the man as the head of the home that's in a marriage. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everything should trickle down from him. So for instance, if the husband has a vision, is it, is it right to say that the, the wife is supposed to follow in the vision of the man? Uh, well, that, that would be uh, unfair okay. to the woman because okay. every individual has their own unique and peculiar uh, vision. Okay. Well, but when it comes to marriage, it means that as much as you both want to, you want to run your individual vision uh, to align with your purpose so you can fulfill destiny. 
there are times where both, uh, both of you need to come together and align your vision together. So, and when you come together to align your vision together, it simply means that you're working on your marriage. Now, your family vision, it's quite different from your personal vision. Your personal vision could be, uh, as a wife, after three years, I want to pursue my master's, I want to pursue PhD. Okay. As the husband, I want to pursue this. But your family vision is encompassing. It encapsulates your family in totality. There's nowhere, there's nowhere where your personal vision and your family vision could clash? Uh, uh, well, it, where it's not talked about. Okay. Where both of you forget that you both have unique vision mm. that you would, would want to pursue. Mm. And you, all you're thinking about is creating a family vision that does not respect your unique vision okay. is going to clash. Okay. So when you're talking about your family vision, you're also bringing your own personal vision to the table. Uh, an example would be if the man is a fun-loving person and the woman is not a fun-loving person, where you're crafting your family vision, you're crafting everybody's vision into it. Now, going back to the question you asked earlier that it, should it come from the man, yes. uh, I, I would say that... Uh, you would you'd be putting too many responsibilities on the man. Okay. Yes, people expect that it's the man that should be the, the arrowhead yes, yes. of mm -hmm. the home. But where a man grew, grew up in a home where his father did not have a vision for him or for their family, the man would not want... There's no way he would have a vision for his family. Mm -hmm. but so you're saying it's a collective thing for both families to do. Mm -hmm. Because when you leave it at the table of one individual, it basically means that other people in the family mm -hmm. would not uh, be part of that vision. So it's, it's too much responsibility in, in essence? It's too much. Everybody in the home has to be part of that vision. All right. So I'm wondering if you've worked with any families that had a very unique vision that you, you would want to share with us. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to try to... Okay, so there's this particular family I worked with and theirs is... Uh, we are a nation of fun-loving people. Wow. Okay. We're a nation of fun loving people in this home we love fun we love laughter wow. we respect people we are humanity and uh, our fun loving does not mean that we do not respect individual in the individuality and uniqueness of everybody in this home wow so for them their purpose is fun their purpose is loving so for such a home you expect you, you would know that when you go to, into such a home they will be loud Hmm. Quite loud people. Very quite loud people. But then someone, <laughs> that doesn't mean that quiet people are not fun loving. It's just <laughs> that, that to have fun sometimes you have to make a little bit of noise. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank Surreal. you so much. Thank you so much. Hopefully you can draft your own family vision after this particular segment. And of course, share something with us on social media. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria. After the break, we will head over to MM. She has some interesting life hacks up her sleeves. Welcome back. This is Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, um, it's time for life hacks. So is your sofa lacking pizzazz? Do you often feel the need to spice up your pillow? Throw pillows are a great addition to your furniture. And on life hacks today, I'll take you through how to make handmade Ankara throw pillows like I have here. So these are very, very easy, it's easy to make. And um, well, for those of you who've been in this tutorial, just grab a throw pillow that you're not making use of anymore or that you're still using basically, just take off the, um, um, the whatever it is that you're using covering through a pillow and then you could follow the story if you have some Ankara or any random you know fabric that you'd like to use okay so um, what I've done here is so I have two throw pillows here I have a baby throw pillow one I made for Elsie and just a regular one um, so I'm done with this one so basically this is what it's going to look like by the time we are done with this so if you have I have my Ankara fabric here so I've cut them into two equal sizes and what I'm going to do here basically is just cut them into, um, I'm just going to make the, all sides into a fringe. Okay, so just in case you're wondering what a fringe is, I'm just going to cut them up equally. Okay, so first of all, before you cut out, cut out your fabric, um, have a visual, you know, of um, have like an idea of, you know, 
the kind of um, how big your fabric is going to look in your throw pillow. So just take your fabric and place it across the throw pillow that you want to use. And then you cut before cutting out your fabric. For example, I'm making a throw, um, a, a throw pillow cover for this um, throw pillow. So I'm making use of this size of fabric. And then you place it across um, a flat surface and then you cut all sides. So this is actually going to take a while. It's a lot of work. Yeah, that's what happens when you're making use of your hands. So you just keep doing all of this till you have it on all sides, on all four sides of your fabric. And then like I have done here, basically, is I just lay, so when, I've, when, I've, when I'm done cutting all four sides, I place the throw pillow inside. So you open up your fabric and you place your throw pillow in and then you cover it. So what you do next is all the sides that you have cut off like I have here, you knot them into a tie. So you just keep knotting all of them. It actually doesn't take so much, it, well it's a lot of work, but it's quite easy. It's very, very easy to make. So if you're looking to, I mean, it's the Christmas season, you're looking for ways to just spice up your parlor, spice up your um, seti, you could just try on throw pillows. I mean, they actually are car throw pillows because they're actually like becoming a trend right now. And then if you have some regular fa um, fabric, yeah, like a plain fabric that you're not using anymore, you could also use the same thing, do the same thing, and then just get uh, permanent markers and just draw whatever design that you want to have in it. And there you have it. So it's basically so easy to make. So just get your Ankara fabric, cut it into four, cut it into two, divide it into two, and then start to make fringes on all sides, like I have done here. So this is almost ready, and then you're good to go. And luckily, Ankara fabrics are actually very, they're quite soft. So you're not going to have any issues with, oh, this fabric doesn't feel soft on my skin. No, you're not going to have that issue at all. And then you could also make it for your kids as well. You know, something nice for their courts or their crib. And then no one would know. So like I said, this is very easy to make. So you just make it on all four sides and you're good to go. And that's it on our DIY Ankara fabric, Ankara pillow for today. Next is a music performance. You gotta stay tuned for this one from Akin today. All right, MM, I have uh, Akin today here who is an Afropop performer and he's about to uh, get us some excitement on this uh, sunny morning. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Good buzz. All, All right. right, take it away. Let's go. Say. Abracadabra, anytime when we come through, they can't see me. Say, I'm coming for everything they hold me. I got goons on deck, no be holding me. Hey, if I know more than them, hey, me want to carry me go. Hey. I maybe got plenty toasters, but none of them feel fine like me. Fine like me, driving bands like me. Put them on the wedding mounts like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm talking to you. If you send money for Zenit Bank, GTP, 
on a freaking echo. Who da vibe on a freaking echo? Malo Lego, baby, Malo Lego. Who da vibe on a freaking echo? Oh, yeah. I know you got plenty to stars, but none of them feel fine like me. Fine like me, driving bands like me. Put them on the where the mouths like me, yeah. Traffic, you go all oh, your yeah. Cause if that traffic gonna break your heart, and if the heart break, you go make your style. I'm trying to walk on that finesse. Go my little testy, cause a little lesson. Bessie, no, but so bessie. We flexing and sexy, love, baby, love, bessie. Put a little rap, try to be the cream of the crap. Keep my love, that's what I said, that's my fill on my chop. I'm the king of the street, I'm the king of the pop. Bye bye, push your bang bang, now we'll be the cop. Go bang, bang, wow, 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 wow. Get you out, come, baby, my little down, down. Street, I'm allowed it down. All out of the world, cool, shots of boo boo loud. I know you got plenty to stars, but none of them feel fine like me. Fine like me, driving bands like me. Put them on the way the mouths like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm talking to you, hold on. Yeah. Okay, great one, great one, great one. Have you ever, has, has anybody told you about your likelihood or resemblance to Wandiko? And doing yourself? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. You always hear that? Have you, have you ever met him? No, no, no. Okay, but, but is he, did he ever, did he sound inspire you? Yeah, kind of, let me say. Kind of. Okay. I listen to him a lot, you know. Oh, so. <laughs> all right, that's cool. So you have, you have an album, uh, a body of work or something out there? You have an album um, or something out yeah, there? Yeah, for now I'm working on more singles, so okay. by next year I'll put out an EP. Good one, I like, I like your sound. I'm looking, uh, you, you get there. Thank nice you. Nice all the best. Yeah. All right, so let's head over, MM and the other guys in the kitchen. What's up? How are you guys doing? Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Yeah, we were Performance. singing along. Yeah. Yami was singing along to that oh, yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, uh, give us that line again. Give, give yeah. it exactly. Give, give it us the line, that line. <laughs> <laughs> All wow. right, welcome to the kitchen, guys, yeah. with um, Chef Why are you laughing now? Nothing, 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 nothing. Sorry. Chef Johnson. Chef Johnson. The artist's name I is about Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Chef Johnson is actually joining us um, in the kitchen this morning for the first time on mm -hmm. the show. And he, he, he made mac and cheese. Mac and primavera. cheese? Yeah, I was wondering why it was yellow. Primavera, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do yeah. you call it? Mac and cheese primavera. primavera. Mac and cheese primavera. Mm. So give us the breakdown, so how you put it let together. let us know how you came about this. Okay, I... Obviously, you can see the macaroni. Yeah. And then I, it's basically macaroni with vegetables. Mm. Like I said at the beginning of the show, prim primavera simply means vegetables. Oh right. Yeah. Right. If you can, you can make a research for that. You're gonna get tea trap. I'm and seeing I said, giant beans in it. Yeah. Like yes, beans. these are kidney beans. It's also kidney vegetable. Beans. And they're very healthy, actually. Yeah, very, very kidney healthy. Kidney beans are so healthy. Mm. I love kidney it. Beans. Yeah, especially so if you're dealing with high blood pressure. Though. So what sort of cheese did you use? <laughs> cheddar cheese. Cheddar. Yeah. Ah, they say that's cheddar the best cheese, cheese in the world. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Oof. So basically cheese. he just um, made a sauce, yeah? Yeah, and I made, then... I made, you're just gonna make a primavera sauce. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, there's a sauce called primavera sauce. That's the vegetable sauce. Yes, mm. you make a primavera sauce, then you toss in your al dente um, spaghetti. Al dente means um, cooked and Strong, like it's cooked, but it's still, it's still a bit hard. Fresh, right, okay. right. Cooked, but it's still a bit firm in the more. Yeah, okay. so it means yeah. al dente in a cuisine. That's a, it's a cuisine language, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cuisine right. language. Yeah. I'm liking <laughs> Chef Johnson, man. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. That's what happens when we have chefs. It's in a the cuisine house. language. So you just yeah. you're just gonna toss in your mm. macaroni into the sauce. Yeah. Mm. And then with all of that. So what, yeah. what protein would you Macaroni have recommended primavera. with this? Is it like yeah. fish or chicken? Chicken or would have been better. Mm. 
Mm, well, the, 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 the kidney beans, isn't it protein, protein, protein us? Yeah. So we're actually waiting for um, yeah. Mr. Akin today. Yes, He's supposed indeed. to join us here in the kitchen yeah. to taste this sumptuous meal. Yes. Yeah. And, and if it's we'll not really ready, like I mean, I'm hear. about to just, you know. Dig in, what, right? Dig in. <laughs> but you yeah. remember that we always say we love new chefs All right, because they're stuff. very Welcome generous. Welcome, Mr. Akin, today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're here. Welcome, he welcome, so welcome. So talented. Come along. Man. Come take a seat. Take a seat. So talented. Take Great a seat. Guy. Just have a seat. Ah, uh, uh, your was singing along. I was like, ah, oh, wow. And then I started listening to the kitchen. So how do you how do you like okay. your breakfast? Is it Italian? Is this is Italian? Right? <laughs> oh, it's, Amer it's an American dish. Okay, an American dish. Cheese. So is it is it is it American? Is it Nigerian? Is it local? Nigerian. <laughs> 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 All right. But you try this one. Let's. Uh, small taste, just a sure. small taste. All right, so have and a taste. And of course, uh, while that is going on, yep. we are going to be rounding off the show. Please Big thank you to our friends over at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories on the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank, thank you. you so much. And a big shout out to Fola at Fola's Place for making my hair on fleek. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Making you know, the hair last minute. Really? <laughs> really, last yummy. Minute. Really, yes. yummy. Really? I'm a great day, people. I'm going to keep talking to Fola until it gets my hair done. <laughs> Eventually. Thank you yeah. so much, Chef Johnson, and thank you, Chef Akin, Johnson, today. Well I hope done. you're enjoying yes, that meal. Sure, All right. What do you See you again tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow, people. 7 a.m., don't forget, Thursday. Bye.